Now, let's go ahead and welcome in our last GM for the day. We have good old GM Corndan coming to bless us with the game. Corndan, come here. Come chat with me. Maybe. Are you here, Corndan? Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I am. I am doing real well today. We have a great game coming up here. Great? This is Cusa Grande. It's not supposed to be great. Well, it, it's a 5B match. It's got no consequences. So so it's all those games that are bad, but kind of janky and fun. That's what we're going to throw in instead. Oh, ah, okay. I, I'm actually really familiar with this game. I played it as a kid. I've always wanted I to see this. It. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, I, that's it's awesome. In my collection right now. Well, what game do we have today? We have Caveman Games for the NES. Oh, Data East. I love me some Data East, and I'm ready for Cavemen. Like, it, it's the perfect combination. It's a great game. It's. Uh, well, no, it's not good, right? But it's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It. I, I'd say. Uh, "Quote unquote good." So, Caveman Games is sort of like one of those Olympic-style games where they compete in multiple mini games. In, in, uh, in six mini games. How are we judging progress with this game? So the way we're going to do this is five out of the six games have um, essentially like a high score, right? It's things like starting fires and racing dinos and stuff like that. Yes. So we're actually going to keep track of all their scores. And uh, they're going to get points based on who's in first, second, third, or fourth in each one of the events, and the number of points wins. So it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've got something set up to track it already. Oh, good. Good, good. Yeah, I, I think that that is one of the biggest things that uh, we need to nail down before getting this game out, knowing exactly how we want to score this, because I think this game is a blast to play. I love it. But, oh, yeah, but it's, it's going to be rough. Uh, but that's, there There are six different cavemen. Are they able to choose any of the cavemen that they want? They can, they can pick whoever they like. Sweet. Okay, I'm working on capturing uh, everybody's screen right now, so don't worry, you'll you'll see this beautiful game in just a little bit. Hold your butts. Cause I've got work to do. I'm working. Horned in. Owning the moon is hard. Owning the moon is hard. Yeah. Hardest thing I've ever done. Stupid moon. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should give it back to uh, the general public. Does anybody want the moon? JK, I'm gonna keep the moon. I just wanted to bait and switch. <laughs> Yeah, well, all y'all got I didn't fooled. Want the moon anyway. You didn't want the moon anyway? Wow. No. Well, guess what? Those grapes are sour, aren't they, huh, Corn Dan? Mm. No, it's so expensive to get to the moon. I mean, you gotta get rockets. Like, they don't make Saturn Vs anymore. Okay. It's... But you literally engineer rockets, okay? I'm sure you can figure uh, well, something out. Jet engines now, but yeah. Okay. I'm sure you could make a decent I rocket. I mean, I probably could. Strap yourself to that bad boy. Come visit, okay? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, what an amazing time. I'm just working on getting everything set up. Uh, jog my memory. Who is... Uh, doing our uh, audio. Samurai. Samurai Snake is doing audio. Ooh, okay. A Samurai Snake. 
I'm just trying to imagine if I met a samurai snake in real life, how would I react? I don't know. Probably would be pretty scary. Samurai snake just jumps out, attacks me. Well, go away, samurai snake. I don't want to get bitten. Do samurais normally bite I people? I mean, I've never been sitting by, bitten by a samurai, so I don't know for sure. Okay. We'll, we'll go ahead and leave that to one of the things we can figure out later, you know. <laughs> well, everybody, here is the game. These are the six cavemen that they can choose between. Let's go ahead and listen to some audio here. And there is none. Um, yeah, you can have, um, have seen where I think reset, but the title music is actually pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Oh. Oh, this music. This is my childhood. Oh my gosh. It's pretty decent music. Oh, I love it. Data East, I love you. So, okay. like, like the game, the game is not really that great, but man, the the um, but the music's really, really good, legitimately. Yeah. So, uh, are they going to be playing individual games, or are they going to be? We are. We are going to do it in individual games. They oh. have an hour to do any of the events as many times as they want. Oh, I love that. And we're just going to track how they go, and however they go, it, you know, however they do in each event, we're just going to take the best of their... Okay. Sweet. I, I'm so excited for this. Like, I love, 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 love this game. It's... I love. Okay, let me see if Pokemon God looks good. I'll have to do a little bit of a recapture, but that's not a huge deal. They were having some issues with... Uh, the the there emulator, but luckily, uh, I think we've gotten that sorted that out. out. Yeah, there we go. That looks beautiful. So yeah, what, what I did end up telling them was, they, they if they wanted to actually play the games, they could, right? Like like do you know the, the one player like actual caveman games or they can be practice so either way is fine honestly doing just one playthrough of everything might be a, a way to go but i'm not sure uh i don't think it really matters so everybody uh, uh get out all of your favorite caveman emotes obviously the ugliest yeah, emotes that you have and dinosaurs because i am doing the countdown right now spam away I want to see those emotes. I'm not a caveman! Oh my gosh. You knew what was going to happen. Wow, chat. Wow. I am so offended. No, you're not. Okay, as soon as I see movement in one of the minigames, I will start our timer. And Stream Hatman is... Uh, Alright. Oh boy. Yeah, a couple of them are doing... So one of the things that they're doing is clubbing, right? And, yes. um, cl clubbing doesn't really matter for what we're doing, um, because it's just a win-lose. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, so it's not something we can gather track. You you're not going to use it as, like, a tiebreaker in case, right, like, things don't go well. Yes. That's about it. So, yeah, it looks like we have three different mini games on the screen right now. Uh, the I, 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 Honestly, I think the clubbing one is probably the easiest of these three. Oh, and then the fire building and sure. then the running one. Like, the running one is ridiculously difficult. It is stupid. 
Pokemon God is still trying to build this fire. Now remember, they have the whole stream to try to make progress here, it, like in yep. any of the games that they want. Yes. So we've got plenty of time. Pokemon God is trying to light this fire. His opponent already did it. Honestly, I think just figuring out the basics of getting the fire started is going to help. Honestly, what you want to do is get a whole bunch of sparks and then do some quick puffs in order to get at least a little bit of smoking showing up. After that, you'll want to go ahead and take deep breaths and give it a lot of oxygen. Samurai Snake is now doing the woman tossing event. Yes. <laughs> Not the worst bat so, throw in the world. So, okay. so, yeah, mate tossing um, is pretty easy. Well, it, it's kind of annoying, but easy at the same time. Okay. You have to um, spin the D-pad in a circle and basically match the pace that's on screen. Right, so you start off slow and you go faster and faster. And then when you get the speed bar as full as you think you're going to get it, you can hold down the A button and change the angle. Right, and then when you let go. It's honestly not too hard to build up speed in this. The angle is the hard thing to nail just right. Looks like Stream Hatman is getting a pretty decent throw. Very nice. Samurai Snake got 43 foots. Looks like Stream Hatman got 40 or 48 foots. I'm not completely sure based on the I, font. I uh -oh. Pokemon God unfortunately has turned blue. That's what happens if you yeah, spin if you for spin too for, long. If you spin for too long, you get busy. Okay, RPG Chick yeah. is trying to uh, face Thag. Unfortunately, Thad just grabs her and throws her backwards. What a jerk, oh, yeah. that Can Thag. Oh, well, yeah, of course you cheat. It's a long time ago. They haven't even invented rules yet. Oh my gosh, Thag, get back there. Get eaten by the kitty. Kitty wants your blood. Oh no! Oh, RPG Chick just got tossed! Now, for people who are wondering, yes, this game can be played multiplayer. You can play with others. Yes. Ooh, Pokemon God got a relatively good toss there. Look at Samurai Snake go. Good angle, but not the best speed. Stream Hatman is doing it right here. This is going to be great. She'll be so happy. Samurai Snake is like, I don't know, she just shrugs. Not exactly the most pleasant throw there. Pokemon God trying to build up speed. Yeah, watch Stream Hatman. She's gonna... Oh, she's doing a chicken dance. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. So now everybody... That was a great throw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, H Hatman's pretty well got it dialed in. Okay, Stream Hatman is actually moving to what I think is one of the most challenging things here. What you have to do is pole vault and jump over the dinosaur. And here Stream Hatman goes, bouncing off the dinosaur into the ravine. Not going to get any points that way. Samurai Snake got a thumbs up for that throw. Honestly, getting anything higher than a thumbs up is difficult in the mate toss. Okay, yes. here goes Stream Hat Man. Right! <laughs> Straight down! Oh! Okay, Samurai Snake Ooh, getting a really... got a pretty good one. Oh, this is going to be a great score. Yeah, Crudla on RPG Chick screen, throwing her mate, doing pretty good. Oh, Stream Hatman into the ravine again. Like I said, that one is extremely challenging. Samurai Snake also gets the chicken dance. Let's see what score this is here. Ooh, a new record, 71 votes. Is that more than Stream Hatman? No, Stream Hatman's hit like 94. Wow. 
Okay, Stream Hat Man is on to the dinosaur ride. This one is strangely difficult as well. You'll probably see Stream Hat Man just accidentally whack their dinosaur a few too many times. Uh, but it looks like he's actually off to a pretty good start here. I just... I always struggled this one, with this one. It's a fun one. I really like it. I like it once I know how to actually play it. Ooh, Samurai Snake, full speed and that angle. This might pass stream happening. That's a good one. Okay. Wow, this is good. Ooh, no, it's going to be close, though. It'll be like 91 or 92 plus. Still getting the chicken dance. Chicken dance is definitely what's needed. The heck are the controls for this dino race? I don't remember. Okay, that's 91 foots. So, so the dino race, you mash A, and, and you hit B to, to slap them on the butt so they jump, but if you want a turbo mode, you can press forward and it activates turbo mode. Uh, but if you do it too many times, the dinosaur gets confused. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I think most of the first attempts, they're just going to lose really quickly. Not a uh, huge deal. Yes. And that's okay. I, I mean, you can see how much of a difference it's made, right? Samurai Snake's early stuff at, like, 30. Okay, Samurai Snake needs to get the speed up. Let's see about the angle. Nope. This is... Not a good throw. RPG Chick also getting a pretty bad throw right there. 31 foot. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough to do it. Pokemon God currently trying to run away from the Sabertooth Tiger. Unfortunately, gets devoured. Always sad. Always sad to see a caveman get eaten. Okay, Samurai Snake is going to the fire no, building. You know. they, they have to eat too. It's true. Oh, look at Stream Hatman go. Stream Hatman is figuring out how to play this game. Good. Okay, Samurai Snake luckily got a good hit on Thag. Honestly, if you can manage to get a hit on your opponent, that essentially means that uh, you're going to buy some time without them whacking you. That's really all that yes. matters. And when you're playing two player, you, you whack them right before they um, right before they get close. Like if you're close, so that you can win. Oh yeah. Like uh, the fire building, I think is the most fun multiplayer game. I mean, so do the cavemen have the same skill, or some better than others? Some are better than others. Um, basically, as long as you're not playing Vincent, you're you're probably okay. Uh, Vincent's <laughs> like the word. Oh really? Hey, Stream yeah. Hatman has figured out how to do uh, the fire. There, very nice job there. Just so everybody knows, it victory is. for this is whoever can get the best score on the most uh, the the most mini games. As far as I'm aware, that's what it is. Does second, third, fourth place in each of the mini games matter? Uh, it, it could, right? Okay. So we're gonna track by by how they do overall. Nice. No one is really uh, really winning. I love this game. I genuinely love it. Samurai Snake having a bit of a hard time with this fire, but I am 0% surprised. It takes a while to learn each of these different games, and you're going to see them fail and fail and fail until eventually they figure it out. Ooh, Stream Hatman got a really good throw on Uga. Uga has been eaten by the Sabertooth Tiger. Now all Stream Hatman has to do is get to the tree and climb it. If Stream Hatman can do that, that will be a good sign of progress for this specific match. Okay. Ooh, unfortunately, 
those cacti are pretty, uh, pretty, pretty dangerous. They hurt quite a bit. And there we go, Stream Hat Man up the tree. I, I think I, I think they're figuring out a lot of these pretty well, honestly. Yeah, so a lot of them are the same. Like, the Dino Race and the Saber Race are both pretty close to each other. Yeah, once you figure one out, the other one is going to be fairly trivial. Okay, Pokemon God what? is actually raising the dinosaur's head up, which is how you score a higher score on the pole vault, like Stream Hatman doing right there. Unfortunately, because the dinosaur was pretty far down, it'll just be uh, uh, the record there, 20 foot. Pokemon so God is going for a higher be... record here. Nope! <laughs> Do they have to win the game also? Like, in the fire game, the answer is no, they just have to get a time. Yeah, so even if Samurai Snake is struggling with this one quite a bit. All he needs to do is build the fire and lock in a time. Stream Hatman bounces a little, or throws himself a little bit too high. I can't wait to see one of them get eaten. Uh, it's gonna be great. Here goes Pokemon God. Flying up, but not anywhere close. Oh, a stream hat man going up. Oh, oh. almost gets nope. chewed. Ah, oh, so close. I was very excited to see a caveman get devoured. Okay. Honestly, what RPG Chick needs to do here is get some of the sparks to fall down and stay in the the the, uh, the fire area and then blow on those relatively quickly in order to get some smoke going. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. That's looking good. I think RPG Chick is figuring it out. Unfortunately, you can get dizzy because you're running out of breath. I love the dizzy sounds. They're just so good. Aren't they great? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Hatman got uh, another vault over, but I didn't see what it was. Oh, nice. 30 foot, 30 I foot. think. That's pretty good. I don't know if you can go over 30, can you? I think 30 is the... Oh, here goes Stream Hatman gonna get chomped. Um... <laughs> and spit yes. out to sea. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I think 30 foot is the record. Okay, and here he goes over the dinosaur. Very nice. Onto the... The squishy ground behind. Not... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's painful, right? Like, that's a bunch of rocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think Stream Hat Man is trying to find out if he can go higher than 30. I, I don't believe that is a possibility, but still, being able to get that oh, high... Smart. Uh, is a pretty solid lock on first for that event. Yes. So I did let them know there's a limit to how high you can walk. Yes. Okay, RPG Chick is still trying to figure this out. I think running out of breath is what is making this particularly difficult. So what'll happen, Corndan, if there are two people who get the 30 feet there, or the 30 foots? No, I mean, so so the way we're doing this is first place in an event gets four points, second place three, four, three, two, one. And so, you know, a whole bunch of people end up with the same 30 foots, they can all have four points. Sweet. Here's the thing, it's a 14 point match. 
Right. The, this is this is like the who's line of um, who's so grande. It's all made up. The points don't matter anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh! They matter to me. They matter to my heart. Well, I mean, they matter for pride, right? Like I'm not I'm not saying like like in, in the end <laughs> they don't matter in that. I understand. You can advance. Yeah, the players of this and, game and yes. do have a manual. I gave them the full manual, not even just my usual, it's an NES game, D-pad does something, buttons do something. They actually have the full manual. You at least sent a picture of the front of the manual. I, well, uh, they, I did send the entire manual. Oh, they yeah, 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 manual. okay, I've got it, I've got it, I found it. <laughs> it would have been pretty I funny if you just fair. sent a picture of the front of the manual. <laughs> well, that, that, that's a little bit... For, for this game, that's a little bit of a jerk uh, thing to do. Yeah. So, apparently, just looking at the different cavemen, Gronk is definitely the best of the cavemen. Vincent is the worst of the cavemen. Uh, so, they actually put those in so that you can have a little bit of a handicap if you would like. Like, Gronk is essentially... The best all around, right? I think the other caveman can be better than Gronk at certain events, but Gronk, like, if you're going to just play the game, Gronk's the way to go. There's no no one else you should use. Yep. So, Crudla, who uh, uh, the RPG chick is playing right now, is better at the Saber Race and Dino Vault, according to the manual. I don't know how much I trust the manual, to be honest. Well, you know. I trust the manual and that it gives you um, controls on how to do this. Right, after that, I, I don't necessarily trust it past that. Yeah. Okay, RPG Chick is getting pretty close to starting a fire, but honestly, you just need to get not dizzy in order to... Deep, yeah, deep breaths. Now, mind you, actually making a fire is kind of difficult anyway, so I, I understand sure. these cavemen struggle. I do want to read, there is some lore with this game, Corn Dan. I believe it's in the manual. Yeah. So read me the lore. In the dawn of time, primitive cavemen roamed the earth along with some pretty gnarly creatures. Not that the cavemen weren't pretty gnarly themselves, they weren't real smart. They were actually pretty stupid. They had no sense of fashion, mostly because there were no malls to shop at. And they looked like a cross between a gorilla and the ugliest person you know. For them, survival was a full-time job, but as always, there were some party animals in the bunch. It was a rebel mob of cavemen that decided to turn the dangers of everyday life into a competition to find the best athletes of the tribe. They called it the Caveman Games. Six top cave athletes competing in six grueling events. It's party time in Caveland, and you're invited. It's a little scary. Uh, Alright, so Samurai Snake has, like, tried to use the turbo function on this dinosaur too much, so now anytime he hits him in the head, right, the dinosaur just gets confused. Oh, yeah. Don't abuse your dinosaur. That's the rule here. Okay, RPG Chick is still trying to figure out this fire event. It's so dizzy. She'll get there. All, all, all she has to do is go... <gasps> um, <sighs> Like yeah, that. Deep, deep, deep in, deep out. Exactly. That's exactly how you build a real fire. So if any of the other players have built a real fire, they might have an advantage here. Oh, also, like, there are some good tips in the manual about the fire making. It says, Thag says, rub sticks make spark spark. Huff and puff make good campfire. After win gold medal, sing song and cook marshmallows. Me always burn hand holding marshmallow and fire. <laughs> ah, it's a good game. Well, you know. 
So, um, well, while well, we have Pokemon God on that and uh, RPG Chick and Samurai Snake doing the Dino Race, let's talk a little bit about the clubbing because there's an easy mode to clubbing that, that the four of them have not figured out yet. Right, and that's, you, you literally walk up to them, bash them in their knees three times, and then they hop backwards. Yep. And then you move forward and bash them in their knees until they hop backwards, and you can literally drive them off that rock, and you can win in like five seconds. It's true. I like the intimidation phase. It's, it never makes made sense to me. I could never but do well with the intimidation. You just, you just spam the D-pad. That's all you do. Right? Like, like shake the D-pad all over the place. Uh-oh, watch out, Stream Hatman. Don't get knocked backwards. Oh, 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 you're 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 getting some hits. Unfortunately, Aga is being really violent. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I saw a meteor in the background. Gotta watch out. Ooh, very nice club to the head there. Okay, Samurai Snake trying to get a jump with the dinosaur. The jumps always felt a little bit weird in this section, the running section. Yeah, you, you have to, like, time them perfectly, otherwise your dinosaur stops. And then does a very short jump. Yep. Yeah. Basically, jump early. Well, but if you jump too early, then you're just going to fall on the rock. It's... There, there, there's a window to hit. And it's earlier than you think it is. Except for, like, the long train of, like, rubble, yep. in which case it's later than you think it is. Ooh. RPG Chick had a pretty good run on the second half. Right? I think yeah. she'll does it another time. Uh, 139.2, right, like I think. Right, for her first run, it was better than Hatman's first run. Yes. Right, so if she, she does the event again, I expect her to get really close to, or better than Hatman's run. Gronk! Stream Hatman, oh, almost falling off. Didn't happen, That that's completely fine. Pokemon so God and deciding what Samurai Paradla. Snake, Good. Um, when when Samurai Snake tried to jump early, it stopped, and then and then you just landed on it. Yep. So Hatman has finally discovered if you just knock him off the edge, they'll die. But, but, Oh yeah, that's definitely the way to go here. Intimidation phase, scare each other. Rah, rah. The, the, the advantage of the intimidation phase is you can push them further and further back. Yep. And I missed Samurai Snake's time on that run. I don't know. Well, we'll catch this next one anyway. It'll oh be yeah. I doubt it's fast here. Dream Hat Man manages to get Thag off extremely quickly. Very nice. Yeah, that was definitely a 2-0 win. Stream Hat Man going back to uh, the mate toss. Pretty good angle, not the best speed. But honestly, I think angle matters at least as much as speed does. Oh, if not more. Pretty much. That, that'll that still be a high 80s or low 90s. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Samurai Snake struggling a little bit with the dinosaur run. Still doable, though. Oh, it's 93. See, like, nice the speed jump. wasn't perfect on that. 93 foot. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Oh, look at that. That speed and that angle. This might be enough to Ooh, get a really, really solid lead. 
I mean, they have a solid, uh, a good solid lead now, right? Once you get out to like that 90 plus stuff, yeah, right, like there, right? It is really hard, you know, like that's going to be like 91, 90. It's so hard to get past that. Yeah, what you might actually have to do is change over to the specialist in this specific event. Oh, that's not going to do it. RPG Chick is trying to do some pole vaulting. I think at this point in time, we've got a little more than a half hour left. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Uh, Um... I mean, I recommend getting a completion in every single thing. Oh, yeah. At the very least, right. that's even what I would do. Not, even if it's not a great um, time or a great score or anything, please put something on the board. If you don't have a score, you can't get a point. You got it. So I, I have um, I have a spreadsheet we're going through now, right, that picks off. Basically, it sets up defaults if you, you haven't done the event at all. Oh! Hey, RPG Chick is over the dinosaur. That is a score. That is a score. I love it. 20 foots is 20 foots. Yeah. And I think Stream Hatman may have made a little bit of a high score here for the toss. Let's see what it is. New record, 95 foots. I don't think you can actually get to 100. Oh no, RPG chick! Wrong way! Bam. So. I have uh, no idea. Samurai Snake just completed what looks like should be a pretty good time in the, um, the dino race. Oh, yeah. Okay, Samurai Snake is going to be going to the Dino Vault, perhaps? Yeah! RPG Chick falling into the ravine there. But RPG Chick still has at least had one successful vault. Having one successful vault is just enough to get at least some points. For that. Yeah. Now, uh, of course, for everybody who's watching, this is what we call a 5B match, which is for a group that, uh, in essence, cannot make it into the bracket. We give them something that's a little bit more amusing than serious and see how they are able to do with that. And this is the game that we've got today. Oh, no, yeah, Samurai Snake! Just- I mean, this game is not good, but it's not really, like, it's not DOS Bionic Commando bad. It's oh not- my gosh. No, I, I, I agree that this game is not good, but it's fun. Yeah. Minicorn does find this game funny, but this was not the game that Minicorn was laughing at earlier today. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see that later. You know, uh, as far well, as I, I did send you the, the, the video for it. The unfortunate thing is that it doesn't look like the NES release has credits, but the DOS in Commodore 64 versions do. Uh, which, just looking at this, it looks like one of the people who. Willie Beamish. Why is that name familiar? The Adventures of Willie Beamish. Oh my gosh, because I was playing that a while ago. Okay, so the guy who yeah. did the music for this did the music for that, uh, for The Adventures of Willie Beamish, which is pretty exciting. So while we're talking about Willie Beamish, Pokemon God put in a great time of 22.9 seconds on Fire. Oh, wow. I think that is the, really gotta figure the lead it out. there. Yeah. No, it's not. It, the, the lead, Hatman has the lead on that at 22.4 seconds. Holy cow. 
one of the designers got it figured out real quick. Yeah, that's great. One of the designers for this game, by the way, also designed the Toe Jam and Earl games, including the latest one, Back in the Groove. I enjoy Back in the Groove. A lot, actually. I'd like to check it out sometime. I haven't played any Toe Jam and Earl, though. Um, I believe it also does local... Um, multiplayer, too. Oh, really? So you and Justin can play together. We could stream yeah, back, to, back right. to the Groove. Back to the Groove is basically Toe Jam and Earl 1. So... Uh, we should play it together. But fun. <laughs> wow, apparently Stream Hatman got a fire in 19.1 seconds. Nice. I love that we have three people trying the vault. Honestly, if you can get the 30 foot vault, great. So, so who's in second? RPG Chick right now is in second. Um, basically on the nature of, of completing a vault. Right? She has times <laughs> in, or things in the mate toss where where she's last in the mate toss, um, second in the dino, or third in the dino race, and put put in a saber race. Um, I think her saber race time is great. It's 44.7 seconds. And the dino vault at 20. Yeah. It's honestly, I think everybody is starting to figure out most of these mini games and figuring out ways to complete them. Like, we have a lot of people trying the pole vault right now. It's rough, it's difficult to do, but once you figure it out, you can get it fairly reliably. So, Joey, she may or may not know how to. Uh, do some... We gave them the manual. And the yes. manual specifically calls it out. Okay, RPG Chick is gonna be doing the Sabertooth Tiger race. Stream Hatman is trying to get... A fantastic time on the fire building. It looks like it's not going to be a new record at this point just due to struggling a little bit getting a flame started. There we go. So how long did they have to read the manual before starting? We gave it to them an hour before. Yes. So they had time. And they can keep it open during the match to reference. Honestly, it's probably a good idea because it, it has some helpful information. And since every event has different controls, you, you want to know those controls. Hey, RPG Chick, climb the tree. New record there. What is the record? 43.0. That's pretty good. That is, that is solid. She's like three and a half seconds faster than Hatman. Nice. On the, the saber, the saber race, and samurai snake and Pokemon God haven't finished the saber race yet. What's worse, this pole ball or the one Stoopy Sports in, in Europe? Probably Stoopy Sports in Europe. I've played them both. This one's manageable once you know what's going on. Yeah, it's actually. Pre Look, this game is not the best, but it's fun. And, like, you can actually get the events down pretty reliably. Takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it. Okay, Pokemon God is doing the clubbing. Uh-oh. I did not see Pokemon God score in Dino Ball. There we go, Pokemon God getting a ring out. Very nice job. Proud of you, Kr Gronk. Almost said Kronk. That's a different... A different series. Okay, Pokemon God going up against Crudla. Crudla is getting hit backwards. Actually, this knocking on the head is a really good strat. Crudla falls. Pokemon God got a victory at 2-0. 
Oh. What is Samurai Snake doing? That is a cool little cartwheel. 28 feet cleared for the pole vault. Time to go up to the big 30. That's as high as you can go, Samurai Snake. Let's see what you can do. Well, I mean, that's a big deal to get this done right at 30. It's an extra point. Yep. Oh no! He got eaten! Oh. You know, you hate to see that happen. It's... <sighs> hey, Stream Hatman is doing a really good dino race here. Yeah, and if I were Hatman, right about now, I would hit the turbo. So the turbo automatically jumps over everything. You don't have to do any of that. And once you get to the, the number nine marker, it's all flat out anyway. Hey, Samurai Snake just got the 30-foot vault. So that puts him at a tie with Stream Hatman, I believe. It does. Very nice, very nice. Which puts him in the lead. Well, it puts him in second. Oh, what a game. Oh, over the dinosaur again. I just love how excited the caveman is when he doesn't get devoured. Well, I mean, that's legit. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I would definitely celebrate if I didn't get eaten by the dinosaur. Also, I'm gonna agree with chat. This game has dinosaurs that, by default, makes it better. That's fair. Alright, so... Pokemon God just put in their first time on uh, Saber Race. Nice! Uh, 46.7. That's not shabby. No, I mean, it's third, but it's a time. Yes. Right? Which puts, because of that, moves them up right into, into third place. But second to fourth are all, like, two point, you know, they're one point apart. Yeah. So, like, any, any time right now on things that you haven't done, right, and, and just putting in a time... And give you extra points. I agree. It's definitely worth doing. So, and, and then when you're at Hatman stuff, you just want to refine all of the times you have. Yes. Uh. No, it, it is not feeding Punk to the Saber. is not instant. So, what do you think you would do in this right, case? you need to put in a time. If you got a time in so everything, I would you go to something that you did pretty good in, but you feel you could do better, or something that you did terrible in? What would you do? So, I think I, think I would start with, um, like, something where I, I felt that I didn't do very well. Yeah. Right? Like, in, in, in the case here, you know, if I were, let's say, RPG chick, I might do the dino race again, because, you know, I fell a lot on that. Yeah. Right? And then I might focus on the fire making and maybe go back to the dino vault after that. Okay. I, I think that right. my oh. strategy at this point, if I had completed one of everything, is to go back and get first place in... Or try to get first place in the ones that I was best in. You know, get one solid run in those just to make sure that I get a good number of points on those. And then with the remaining time, go to the ones that I was terrible in. Yeah, that, I might, I mean, it, it could go either way. Yeah. Honestly, you know, the, the, there's a difference between actually playing and watching. That's what I can say while watching, but I'm really not sure uh, if that would be the best move. Oh no, Pokemon God, sure. your dinosaur's confused! Stop the violence! Hello, corn baby. I think it's a good 
I think it's a good choice for RPG Chick to go to the Dino Race. Ah, uh, and uh, she is going to the Dino Race. Right, especially because she's put in a great time on the Saber Race, so a lot of that is the same. Okay. Right, in terms of what you have to do. <laughs> oh, corn kid. Hello. He, yeah, he doesn't even want caveman games. He doesn't want this. <laughs> no, he wants baseball. Oh, but this is better than baseball. This is dinosaurs. Right. Not, not when you're not when you're like three. When I was three, I would have taken no, dinosaurs would, so, over baseball. Specifically, he wants me to play baseball. Uh oh. Right, because he likes to watch. <laughs> no baseball. Okay, Samurai Snake may be getting a new time on the fire. There we go. I love it. Two minutes and 51 seconds, as far as I can see. Yeah. But it's a time. It's a time. The You just have to get a time down. So. Okay. Just so people know, we are tracking the different high scores. We have at least you, Corn Dan, who's helping track. Who else is tracking? Yes. Um, Cadis is helping track. Nice. Right, and there's a couple people in chat. Joey, Peter, man, a couple people have been putting scores in chat. Okay, cool. That's great. Thank you, everybody, for all your help. And also, Cadis, for being the invincible, uh, referee that we have. It, it is always an amazing amount of help that you give. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, you want to play baseball, Corn, Corn Kid? Mini corn? He, he does. Well, too bad. Do pole vaulting over dinosaurs right. instead. <laughs> Ugh. Let's see what time stream Hatman gets, because that was a really good run. 44.6, if I'm not mistaken. That is, it's still not as fast as RPG Trick. RPG Trick rocked that out. Oh, yeah. Stream Hatman has given it another shot, of course. Starting with a shove. Vincent's a nerd, so might as well shove him anyway. Oh, oh. wow. Well, yes. Not so I think Pokemon okay. or RPG Trick isn't doing so hot on the, you know, figuring out the turbo, right, where you can use some of that and getting the timing down as soon as she gets, um, that in, mm -hmm. right, she'll put in a good time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is that kid boy? That is mini corn. Yeah, it is Corn Dan's child. He helps on commentary sometimes. And by helps, I mean just says random things. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> okay, 43.3 .3 seconds for Stream Hatman on the Sabretooth race. That's definitely a better time for him. So, Corn, funny thing, Corn, Corn Kid does um, help me pick Puso Grande games. At Play times? Laughs while I'm playing them. It's okay. probably a good, a good pick. I love it. It's it's pretty hilarious. Pokemon God getting a really good vault there. Very nice. What's it? I think that's their first. Uh, uh, their first Dino Vault uh, entry. I think it is. You know, getting at least one entry is extremely important. If you don't get one, you can't get a point. Okay, Stream Hatman is finishing that race. 43.2 seconds, just one tenth of a second faster. Two, two tenths faster than RPG Chick. 
Ah, really? And one time faster than his last run. Nice. Of course, I, I think Stream Hatman thinks that he has a chance of getting a better time, so he's going to give this one another push. Definitely a good choice, I think. Oh, oh, watch out, though. Ugga is starting to catch up, and if Ugga gets you, then he's going to toss you back towards the saber-toothed tiger. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh. There goes the throw. Uh, so our RPG chick had a 43 even in the... Uh, yeah, it looks like Joey is going to go check that. That would be great. Okay, Stream Hatman is through. 44.7 seconds. Not great, but not terrible. Samurai Snake doing the dinosaur race. RPG Chick just gets a perfect vault. Very nice. RPG Chick just needs to, to raise the vault, and she would have it. She's, she's put in a good, solid couple of the 20s. No problem. Oh, yeah. I don't know if she's realized how to change the height. Yeah, she's not changing it at all. Right. Ah, we got a Windows notification. I, I mean, yeah, I... This is why they have the manual. I think that manual boss for RPG Chick might actually come into play here. Uh, I think so. Ah, uh, manual boss. Because I think she's got a good, solid form on that. She could easily get up to the 30 as well. I think so, yeah. Okay, uh, she is opting for the mate toss again. Pokemon God. Trying to do some more vaulting. Let's see what Stream Hatman is able to do in the race here. Okay, a very nice shove against Ugga. Honestly, the sooner you can get rid of Ugga, the better. Yeah, a, a good mate toss would give her some ground. Yeah. For sure. Just gotta throw, gotta throw before you run out of steam. Not a great throw, but not Me? terrible. It's not any better than what she's been doing, though. Yeah. The, the difficult thing about the Matos is that you essentially have to go around in circles on the D-pad, right? Yes. Unfortunately, RPG Chick is out of steam and just has to let go. That's not going to be far enough to make any progress. Samurai Snake is actually doing pretty good on this dinosaur race. Actually passing yeah, the fine. computer right there. Like, the the thing is, the dinosaur race is actually surprisingly oh. difficult, but it feels so satisfying when you can get it right. Ooh, RPG Chick might yeah. get a new score for the mate toss. Ooh, maybe by, by one, maybe. Oh. Nope. So, so that is that is her high score. Nice. Um, it's not enough to close the gap with a Pokemon God. Okay. Uh, but it is an improvement. Pokemon God going for the vault, and that is not going to do it. Samurai Any Snake finishing. Uh, RPG Chick would have it basically in hand, right? If she just got the angle better. She, she keeps getting a good speed. Yep. 
the thing is, you don't have to hold the angle button right from the beginning. You can just oh. mash the spinning and then worry about the angle right towards the end. So I think that right. is probably tripping her up a little bit. Oh. So, uh, yeah. in, uh, apparently I'm being called cruel in Discord. Uh-oh. Game's fun and all, but giving out a mashing game during a game is cruel. Oh, no. Wow. Bad corn dad. Wow. You know, how long have you and I been trying to get this game uh, shown? Uh, at uh, least pretty since... Pretty much the whole uh, tournament? Well, also the last tournament... I, I know that I tried to give it away at least a few times. Like, yeah, it's been around. Pokemon God getting a very it. short launch. I'm trying to think, if we did get it into a gauntlet, which one did we do? I don't know. No, no, I don't. Probably, like, clubbing or something like that. Probably. Okay. Well, everybody, we're starting to get close to the end of the match. We're 52 minutes in. Uh, right now, how are the places looking? So right now, as it currently stands with all the information I currently have, yes, um, Hatman is in first, then Pokemon God, and Samurai Snake, then RPG Chick. But the last three, it could go either way. Right? Really, it could go, because of the way this is done, it could go either way on any of them. You just start... Um, yeah, Hatman's got gold, except in the Saber race, and... Hatman just got 41.8 in the Saber race. No, now that's... Okay, here goes Pokemon God getting a vault. Unfortunately, not able to get over the chasm or get high enough. You really got to get a pretty good speed. But I think, honestly, the players are probably getting a little bit tired at this point. This Pokemon God fared better than 20 in the Dino Vault. And the answer is not that we've been able to find so far. Now, I do realize uh, that mashing is definitely something that can be uh, uh, rough for players in general. I, I would say that if you know it is going to be a problem for you, talk to us. We can usually make some arrangements if it is going to be something that is just not okay for you. Uh, that said, I, I think all of the players are doing pretty darn good getting through this game and dealing with the old NES mashing that is expected in that generation. Yeah. I would agree with that. Oh! Samurai Snake just t tossing Glunk at the Sabertooth Tiger. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, well, we definitely... You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Gotta toss him. Homicide is allowed in the Cave Olympics. Yeah, essentially. We, are, we, already, we already established that, you know, um, cheating was basically allowed. I mean, this, considering that dinosaurs were still around, I'd say anything goes. I would, I would agree with that. Oh. 
So... I think that's gonna be a much better time for the RPG check on the Dino Race. I think so, let's see what it looks like. New record... 117.9. It's not around the same as everyone else, but it is. Yeah, you know, it's like a 10 second improvement over their previous record. You sounded like a demon for a second there. A little scary. I know. <laughs> Bye. So, I don't know, I think, I think her next run will be good. She's off to a really good start. Yes. Like, it, it, all it takes is one good run to really move yourself up in the ranks. Yes. Ooh, Samurai Snake just got destroyed doing clubbing. Pokemon God is probably going to get through this one pretty quickly. Oh. I think so. Pokemon God has already done clubbing as well. Huh. I don't know if Pokemon God knows that uh, having already done it and getting the two victories puts him in first place, but... Go ahead. Right, right, because we can say stream handing. Right, so I've got markers. Those two are the ones that are... I can barely uh, hear Pokemon, what you're saying. Pokemon God. Well, Pokemon God did say that she likes... Uh, that she likes doing the clubbing. I I can barely hear what you're saying. Part of this. Let's let's both disconnect from the call and reconnect and see if that fixes it. Okay. Hello, Corn Dad. I, I, I don't know if it's fixed it or not. Let's both disconnect at the not? same time and then take five seconds and come back. Okay. Bye. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, hopefully this works. Hello, Corn Dan. Hi there. Ah! Is this better? Better? No! Ah, no! I'm gonna. You're, it sounds like you're gonna eat me. Oh, well. Ah! Don't be delicious. I'm sorry, I'm delicious. It's so scary. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, everybody, can you deal with Alien Corn Dan for a little while? We'll we'll go ahead and uh just just keep going with this match because we've got just over a minute left. Oh, well, I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to get a better. Time or score for anything, no, but Stream no. Hatman got a good throw. That is a good throw. Oh, you sound normal again. Welcome balls. back. Yeah, he, he knew what was going on. <laughs> Not the best throw for Stream Hatman, but. That's a know. pretty. It's gonna be, uh, it'll be like a, a low 90s. I, th I think so, yeah. Okay, here we go. We've got just 20 seconds left. Oh my gosh, I enjoy this game. It's pretty, pretty amazing. It's, it's fun, honestly. Guys, go play it. It's I fully recommend it. Yeah, for anything that provides joy out of what we have seen today, this is high up there. Well, that is the match. We hit the hour. And the end the is hour. here. Corn Dan, go ahead and give us the spiel. What does it look like for orders here? It looks like Hat Man. Hatman had a sweep of all the gold medals. Hatman is clearly the winner. Uh, and then after that, it was um, Pokemon God, then Samurai Snake, then RPG Check. Sweet. So, congratulations, Hatman, for demolishing this game.
yeah, it's... Like, honestly, this game is not for everyone. Uh, it can be a little bit difficult, but Hatman just really got into the groove here. Hello there, Hatman! Oh boy! <laughs> it's a fun game! I'm not, I am not questioning whether or not the game is fun. This is, uh, but, like, I don't know if you're aware, but on, across the entire East Coast, there's, like, a heat wave, so mashing, like, a maniac is not exactly conductive for healthy living. Well, I, I mean, I, I am in the East Coast, I'm also in air conditioning, so that helps. Yeah. I oh, was yeah. I'm pretty confident about, like, all my scores, but I didn't expect the perfect sweep. Yeah, no, that was... You did really well. Yeah, that was that was great. Like, honestly, what what was your favorite event of them all? I think there were six different minigames. Yeah, there were six. Uh, honestly, I started... Honestly, I liked... I didn't really care for most of them, but when I saw the dance and the mate thoughts, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's the favorite event right there. Like... Yeah, the... <laughs> like... Chuck 93 to 95 foots? And, foots. Uh, foots. Well, yeah, and then it's you not feet. Like, 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 crazy? Like, yeah, I I'm in for that. Yeah, I like... I heard the music, but there's a, there's a music you never hear anywhere else in the game. I think. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's correct. Was it the dancing music when you did well? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you know, I think that one is fun. I always liked the pole vault when I was a kid. I thought that that was a blast. Yeah, I wasn't even sure. I, when I asked that, I, I know I asked a question in the Discord chat about whether or not you could go higher. And that was because I wasn't sure if we could go higher than 30 foot because I had beaten that. And I'm like, okay, well, if we can go higher, I don't want to risk it. I, I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna try and go higher. But when Gordon said no, you can't, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop with that one. Yeah. So, that, yeah. I uh, honestly, you know, th this is one of the games from my childhood that I always wished we could see here in Cusa Grande. I'm really glad that we got to experiment or experience this with you. <laughs> so I'm glad I could put on a pretty good performance. Yeah, I'm sad that your group is going to be uh, out of the tournament, but at the same time, you know, you did a great job here, and hopefully you, you come back next year and are able to and get it's been, through. It's my third year, so... Ooh. And I think in this preliminary, I literally came in and at least once in first, second, third, and fourth. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh oh. I'll take the, the, the trifecta, I guess. The <laughs> mod grand trifecta. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, I think that that is it for today. Thank you, everybody, for coming and joining. I want to give a shout out to Gustian for resubscribing. Air Decay. Uh, Air Decay has been doing a Kuso thon as well recently and got to play through some Pig of the Peach games. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and raid NPC Lives. Do we have a good rate message? 95 foots. 95 foots. Ooh, he'll like the feet. Okay. Go spread the message about 95 foots because that is pretty good. You can say Ooga Booga if you want, Carol Z. That's cool, too. And I will see you all later. Thank you and take care, Hat Man, Corn Dan. Thanks for the games, and uh, thanks for the tournament, and I'll catch you next year. Bye! <laughs>